we are at the end of almost at the end of this chapter this is almost you know this, this is probably the longest chapter uh, of this of this particular course but we are almost there so we have actually uh, discussed different types of methods for community detection right but the major pertinent question is how do we evaluate the community structure i can have my own ways to detect communities you can have your own ways to detect communities how do we know that yours is better than uh, my uh, algorithm right so you you may think that let us use then modularity you you will let us measure modularity for on on your output and my output and let's let's see which one is better right but if we use modularity for community detection how can you use how can you use modularity for community evaluation because when you use modularity for community detection say luven or fast greedy they are trying to optimize modularity right so it is obviously that if you evaluate uh, a community structure based on the modularity the modularity maximization algorithm will always produce the better result compared to say permanence maximization because permanence maximization is based on permanence optimization right or say if or on the other hand if you say you know want to evaluate based on permanence then permanence maximization algorithm will be better than modularity maximization so these ma metrics cannot be used for uh, for evaluating a community detection algorithm right because they are when they are used for optimization they can't be used for evaluation otherwise this will be a this will be cyclic right so what people generally do people use different cluster clustering evaluation metrics so you know for say for example k means k metoid uh, this kind of algorithms when people use in data mining kind of a uh, setting when uh, and and in those settings people generally use metrics like uh, you know purity rand index f1 score so you can also use this uh, metrics for for community evaluation but the problem here is that we know we 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 need to know the ground truth community structure okay the actual community structure which which is there right which we want to detect the ground truth community structure so given a network how do i know the ground truth community structure okay either the ground truth community structure should be given to us right or we should have a graph where the community structure is already known to us and then we detect those known community structures right actually there are different benchmark data sets where the community information is known to us and the algorithm should be able to detect uh, to to detect the community structure which actually look like the ground truth community structure okay so there are benchmark data sets and uh, in fact there are different synthetic way of generating networks there are something called there is something called lfr network lfr network right so lfr network is a synthetic network where the community structure is known right so this model this lfr model will generate a network as well as it will give you the community structure synthetic community synthetic network now you run your algorithm on the synthetic network you detect the community and then you see whether the detected community is same as the synthetic community that is already there okay so the metrics that we are discussing now uh, assume that the ground truth community is known to us we know which node belongs to which community right and our task would be to uh, to to come close to the ground truth community so so the metric that we will discuss all these metrics are very standard you can if you google it you can get uh, you know uh, ample amount of information about this this metric so i will try to briefly talk about them so the first one is purity purity is a metric and let's assume that you have uh, uh, two community structures one is the ground truth community another is the detected community so given a graph gve your c is the ground truth community structure you have k ground truth communities and this is this is omega right big omega is the detected community where this omega 1 omega 2 omega j are the detected communities okay in this particular uh, picture you see that there are you know there are three detected communities how many nodes are there 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 there are 16 nodes and 
the circles the circles are detected communities and different shades are ground truth communities meaning that in the ground truth these four black nodes should be together according to the ground truth this node this node this node this 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 node should be grouped together according to the ground truth this 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 four nodes should be grouped together but our detected community structure is different our detected community our community structure our algorithm detects these as a community these as a community and these as a community so there are error there are errors and we need to measure these errors okay so purity is one such metric to measure the error or to whatever to measure the uh, correct classification so what is purity purity looks at the intersection at every detected community you look at the intersection of intersection of uh, you know uh, intersection of uh, the community with one of the ground truth community level okay look at here look at this formula so you have this g index j which denotes the detected communities so there are 1 2 3 dot 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 j number of detected communities you have index k which indicates ground truth communities 1 2 dot 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 capital k number of ground truth communities right then what we do we take every pair i comma j comma k we take every pair and then we measure the max of uh you know you, i mean you can write in this way you can also write in other ways uh, so you take the sum okay k j over over w j intersection c k what does it mean let's take one community so this is one detected community k right then you in, you you take the intersection of a black with this one black uh, uh this shade with this one right when we take the intersection of this community with the black black community right the value would be 4 intersection of this community detected community with the shaded community it would be 1 right and the intersection of this community with the with the dotted community intersection would be zero and we take the max so the max is 4 right so for this one the correct classification is 4 and that's the majority so as if in each detected community you are identifying the majority ground truth community right what about this one the majority is this dots and the size of such dots is 3 so this is 3 here the majority is shade the size is 5 this is 5 so what's the total purity 5 plus 4 9 plus 3 12 right and this will be normalized by the number of nodes how many number of nodes are there 16 i guess so 12 by 16 is the purity very simple method right but this can be gambled how so one may say that okay i will if if purity is the metric right i will actually detect community in a different manner i will say that let me group each node in a community so this is one community another this one this one there are 16 detected communities 16 detected communities okay 16 detected communities now let's take one community what's the majority size one because there is only one node and that's the majority so one this will also be one so for all the nodes for all the communities for all the detected communities output would be one so 1 plus 1 16 1 plus 1 dot 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 16 so the purity would be one so if we naively assign a node to its own community you will get the maximum purity and that's the problem we will discuss later a metric called uh, nmi normalized mutual information which basically uh, you know alleviates this problem before that let us discuss another metric called rand index what is rand index 
the idea behind rand index is that we basically look at true positive false positive true negative false negative so these quantities are generally used in classification right we'll also do the same thing here what do we mean by true positive here so we take all pairs of nodes right and we already know the ground truth we already know the detected community structure then we take all pairs let's take one uh, let, let's take a particular pair x y if according to the ground truth both the nodes should belong to the same community and according to the algorithm both the nodes belong to the same community then this is true positive ground truth wise they should be the same community they should be in the same community your algorithm wise they should be in the same community so your algorithm says that they should be positive with respect to whether they belong to same or not and your ground truth also says that this is true your decision is true this is true positive let's take another pair xy and your algorithm says that both of them sh should belong to different communities and your ground truth also says the same meaning your algorithm says they should be negative they should belong to a different community your ground truth actually supports it it's called true negative negative and that is true what is false positive false positive is that your algorithm assigns both the nodes to the same community assuming that it's positive but that's false according, according to the ground truth so your algorithm assigns them to the same community but it is false they should not be in the same community it's called false positive what is false negative false negative is your algorithm assigns x and y to different communities assuming that it's a negative pair but it is false according to the ground truth they should be in the same community it's called false negative so false positive and false negative are errors whereas true positive and true negatives are uh, uh, correct classification so the rand index is true positive plus true negative by true positive true po negative false positive false negative let us take an example okay so the same structure three communities and three ground truth ground truths are denoted by uh, black shade and dot okay let's measure true positive remember we take all pairs right so let's say this community okay so according to the algorithm so these black nodes are same community within the same community and ground truth wise they are same so it how many pairs are there there are four nodes right and this four, four of them are correct so it should be four c2 pairs right so four c2 pairs are correct here and you cannot form a pair with this node because this is a single node so here true positive is 4 c2 here true positive is 3 c2 3 c2 and 2 c2 they are correct here 5 c2 so the true positive is 20 okay what's the false negative so false negative means what false negative means nodes are assigned to different communities but that's wrong so let's say this node and these two nodes they should be together right they are assigned in different communities but they should be together so the pairs that we can form out of these three nodes would would contribute to false negative so how many pairs can be possible 2 into 1 2 into 1 pairs are possible between this and this 5 5 into 1 uh 5 into 1 such so 2 into 1 plus 5 into 1 such pairs possible i am only looking at this shaded color between this and this how many possibilities 5 into 5 into 2 right that about so that is about the shaded community let's look at the dotted community right 3 into 
and black nodes are all 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 good okay so the total false negative would be uh 2 plus 5 plus 10 plus 3 because it's 20 right what is true positive plus false positive true positive plus false positive pairs are basically those pairs which belong to the same detected community within the detected community some of them are true positive some of them are false positive so you will take this one and how many pairs can be possible 5c2 here 5c2 here 6c2 so true positive plus false positive is 35 and what is this all tp fn tp fn fp tn all pairs how many pairs are possible 6 16c2 120 okay so total pair is 120 true positive plus false positive is 35 so then true negative plus uh, false negative would be 120 minus 35 which is 85 right we already know that false negative is 20 so then what is true negative true negative would be 85 minus 20 65 and what is rand index rand index is true positive 20 plus true negative 65 so 20 plus 65 by all 120 so that's rand index okay it's very easy you 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 take an example you calculate it and you will understand it okay the third one is 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 based on uh, information theoretic approach called mutual information entropy it basically comes from entropy okay so entropy can be measured for a particular random variable when it comes to two random variables right you can measure mutual information and what is mutual information mutual information is so so we have uh, detected community and the ground truth community right uh, or oh, sorry so uh, this is ground truth i don't i forget the symbol let's look at the symbol so c is ground truth and omega is detected right so detected uh, ground truth and detected and it is basically right it is basically um, uh mutual information is you take every pair jk you look at the size right intersection and then log of wk intersection cj by size of wk times size of cj by n okay this is mutual information but, but the problem in mutual information is that it also suffers from the same problem that uh, purity suffers from if you assign nodes to uh, singleton communities you will get maximum output so we need to normalize it somewhere somehow so therefore we define something called normalized mutual information okay which is mutual information divided by the entropy average entropy entropy of entropy is shannon's entropy okay Minus x log x. So here x is basically the size of the community, the 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 fraction of the the fraction of nodes in the community. Okay. So entropy of this one and entropy of your ground truth, you normalize it. Uh, you basically take the average and you uh, normalize it. Normalize uh, mutual information by this one. That would be your normalized mutual information. And NMI is. is the best metric because it doesn't suffer from uh, the problem of you know single tongue community etc okay uh in the overlapping community detection uh, setting you can use omega index as a metric okay what is omega index it's very simple so let's look at uh we you already know what is c c is the ground truth community and omega is the uh, detected community so for every node u we know that say u belongs to c1 c5 and c6 in the in the uh, ground truth and in the detected community structure it belongs to omega 2 right omega 5 omega 7 for example okay so what omega index does does it takes all pairs right and it only looks at it only checks whether the number of communities the number of communities where node u belongs to and node v belongs to they are same or not 
so u belongs to five communities v also belongs to five communities then it will contribute to one but if a, u belongs to four communities and uh, v belongs to five communities it will not contribute to one okay you see here if this is, again this is an indicator function if these two quantities are same okay then this will this will return one otherwise zero okay uh, there are also adjusted version of this one adjusted uh, rand index adjusted uh, you know uh, adjusted uh, nmi and so on and so forth adjusted purity based on uh, you know based on certain factors so if you if you want to know more about this i strongly suggest you guys to read this uh, survey paper which talks about all sorts of uh, metrics that people use for community detection for community evaluation and so on and so forth you can also use uh, f1 score f1 score is a very standard metric for uh, for classification you can also use f1 score here okay so f1 score since we know true positive true negative false positive false negative you can easily measure f1 score with respect to uh, ground truth community and with respect to uh, you know detected community and then you can you can take an average right otherwise you just you know uh, you, you you basically Uh, only you, you can also look at the size not you, you you may not want to look at the uh, the the actual nodes present in a community you just look at the size and depending on that you decide okay so this brings us to the end of uh, this chapter this long chapter so we have studied uh, we have studied why community detection is important we then uh, you know looked at the taxonomy we then uh, discussed uh, different node centric approaches right for community detection uh, k plex uh, k clan k club and so on k core right then we discussed cart right cart has certain problems we discussed modularity permanence uh, these uh, methods are used for decision community detection we discussed methods for overlapping community uh, community detection uh, click percolation b clam right uh, level propagation and then we also discussed how we can evaluate a community uh, you know community detection algorithm hope you enjoy this chapter so next we will uh, proceed with the next chapter which is on uh, link prediction okay thank you mm -hmm.